So here I am in my hometown, Arugbo, and it's just speaking riverine community in SLO, the local government of Ondo State. This is where I source for fresh water fish, as this place is blessed with natural water body. Here I get three major species of freshwater fish like the African nine fish, also known as Asa or Ejaoso in Yoruba land, with the scientific name Gymnacos niloticos. Also we get other fish like Arowana or African bony tongue fish, popularly known as Mangala or Agbadarigi in Yoruba, with the scientific name the Eterotis niloticos. Thirdly, we get the snakehead, the snakehead fish, which is the sweetest of them all, known as okodo in Yoruba. There are other fish too, but these three are the most popular species that I do buy here. I purposely come here to get fish. I have a contact in place who assists me in getting these fish directly from the fishermen before I arrive here. So whichever ones that are still alive, she keeps them in a bowl till I come. And the lifeless ones, I do take them back to the smokers to be processed for smoking. It's about 3 hours, 30 minutes journey from Akure here. When I get back to the smokehouse, the asa that are still active, I keep them in a the pond just so they can grow bigger. So to keep this type of fish in a pond, you need to create a kind of environment where they will be able to prey on other small fish because they are basically carnivores. They survive by eating live prey like small fish. These fish are expensive because they are seasonal. You can't just get them in good quantity year round. I spent over two million sourcing for these little ones that I've got. I've also got myself the okudo fish which is in this bowl. All I'm trying to do is to try as much as possible to make sure they get to the smokehouse alive because I love to keep them in the pond. It's my own way of doing a little bit of conservation because in this community, <laughs> their major activity is fishing and anything they see in the water, they take. There are no laws guarding against overfishing in these communities and not even anywhere in Nigeria. So fish are taken from the water anyhow and as most of the people that consume fish, they're always looking for wild fish. That is, the, as they call it, river fish. Forgetting that this is not sustainable. It is only through fish farming that we can produce a lot of fish that will cater for this growing population. Hence why wild fish are far more expensive than pond raised fish. Thanks for watching. So here I have the very dry asa fish. You see this asa, there are no heads. It's just the middle part and the tail part of the asa. And we are selling at the rate of 80,000 per kilo. Asa is very scarce. We are lucky to be in season now. Even in season, we are only getting small quantity. So we see very big ones that are very, very dry, export standard. Now this is 5 kg. 1 kg is 80,000. This 5 kg is about 400,000. Now you can get old folded asa like this and the middle chunks. If you want to buy 1 kg, 1 kg is just 80,000 naira. Now you see, let me show you the basket. Now, there's plenty of fish here. Thank you. So today we have okodo fish. You know okodo is a scaly fish. This is the sweetest fish. Forget a jowson. This is okodo. It's a scaly fish and we've taken out all the scales before we dry them. Now let me show you what one kg looks like. We are selling one kg for 40,000 naira. We only have 15 kg available. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That is one kg for forty thousand naira. Let's go two kg, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. See this size. See this small size. Twenty. Twenty one. 22, 23, 24. That's 80,000 for 2 kg. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 
This is 38 pieces of kudu, 3 kg, at the rate of 40,000 naira per kilo. This is 120,000 naira. So if you want to buy, we have different sizes. And they are very, very dry. They are readily available. Only 15 kg is available. Please. Thank you. See, see, see the okodo. See it. See it. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yes,